this talk is about modules and java linker i think uh, pretty much about modules have been covered uh, i will take this opportunity to cover it very briefly once again and uh, cover some important points about it and also the new tool java linker it's like the it became like it's the de facto standard for creating java jdk images now i'll just cover it slightly here and i am banu prakash i work for uh, java platform team oracle okay this is the agenda i'll slightly cover about modules again module dependencies this is some stuff and then uh, jlink and packaging uh, this is the this is uh, is more about this talk is more ab not a, more about uh, this talk is not about the code uh, actual code constructs or something like that but it's more about the way uh, jdk9 impacts the uh, development environment be it writing the code testing deploying configuring all those configuration section all those things this talk is all about and i will also introduce you jlink plugins some of the built in plugins and some of them which are shipped with jdk9 i will also cover them yeah this is a regulatory statement uh, don't make any recent decisions on, based on this okay jigsa i, I think uh, some of the problems we have seen earlier uh, uh, still jdk8 maybe in special cases otherwise right a jdk had been a, a single monolithic image and it had been a problem since long time i mean uh, be it embedded devices or cl cloud based platforms the space is very important there right uh, maybe uh, i think in jdk8 it had a tool called jre create but that is for embedded jdk i will cover it later but otherwise it was single monolithic image it was a big problem there and then uh, uh, the class path or jar hell. Uh, the way, like any moderate or big applications, right? Uh, they will have a number of jars, and the dependencies among the jars is not properly specified, and it would re lead to lots of problems. Uh, something like shorting of the classes, or maybe uh, uh, I mean, like the discovery of the classes itself. You may frequently encounter uh, no class definition found errors, something like that. Uh, these some of these problems have been addressed by Maven. Uh, by using uh, static, uh, the static number of jars and then versioning and all those things. But still, uh, if you are a, like uh, a normal development environment, right? You you still face all these problems there. And then the performance, uh, performance side, two aspects: startup and security. I mean, like uh, be JDK being a single uh, image, right? JDK was like either JDK for developers or JRE for runtime, right? Uh, uh, any moderate application had to be like any small any even in a small application right